congratulate congratulations so you already completed three to four modules over here so let's con uh, continue to the module of request parameters so what happened before is like you were able to uh, kind of lost oh you were able to call the api through this particular way now they are trying to do the same thing by adding some kind of authorization uh, something like that so now they are trying to do a set a variable so in order to set a variable what they are trying to do is like you copy only this one now you paste it over here now what happened is like you kind of hover over it so you kind of hover over it and then you can see something called set variable so this hovering doesn't work most of the time so i just noticed it so try to select try to uh, paste it again so this variable thing button appear over here so here you give the variable called uh, what they want to give us over here sorry uh, they want to give us the variable called uh, mm -mm 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 base url all right so you type base url for here and you select the scope as postman libraries you set the variable so what you have created is like you created a variable called this base url now you can call this base url just like that all right um now you should be able to get a status um this thing all right so they are trying to tell us to save this and send a URL of this. So now you can see uh, status is okay and here the server, everything is fine. Now when you try to call it by books, the same uh, thing which we tried before, it is returning the entire JSON thing. So that's what they were trying over here. They were trying to let you know what, uh, what are these things is all about and everything. Now they are. Uh, they will also ask you where are my variables. So you can go to see your variables uh, just right over here. You can go to the Postman API library over here under the variables. You can see the base variables has been created over here. So that's what they were explaining over there. And in the you can click on the next button. So as it is already completed. Awesome. Uh, now they, we have to try uh, doing some queries. So th this again you can skip it over here. Uh, and in the next one you have to uh, the same thing which I did before but they are trying to add more search features for example right now we can search it like this now um, they want to create us uh, something called get fiction books for example um, you can copy this one uh, make sure that there is no full stop over there uh, you copy this get fiction and you come here you um, duplicate this click on that click over the name rename that get fiction books so you already created duplicated it and you renamed it now what they are looking for is like they were trying to filter only the genre uh, which is fiction so what exactly they are doing over here is like they are passing a param so you can see they are passing a param called genre and fiction over here uh, all right, so let's try to do the same thing. Uh, our genre is genre and value is fiction. You can see it's automatically getting added over here. Now, when you send this request over here, it says it's okay. And now, when you try to do this, it's supposed to create um, a list of things which you are trying to do. For example, let's see uh, if we followed the correct things. Books dot genre. You have to type books. Um, now it will return only the books which is having a uh, thing called genre all right uh, then you get uh, this thing so this is being completed click on the next one in the next task they are asking us to um, do a multiple queries so for example they were trying to do uh, one more command called and um, checked out checked out is equal to false so what we have to do is like we have to go here and type checked out is equal to false so you created this and you created this and say so now you can see uh, checked out false only will come up pop up in front of us right so you have com uh, successfully completed it and you can see this and click on the next button over here now the, the this one is like setting the path variable so you can 
uh, easily skip this because again this is like a kind of uh, explanation for you guys and now they are asking us to get the book by id so you have to create a new request called get book by id so you can do this by um hover over here add a new request now name this request as book get book by id right now they are trying to call an id into a variable as well so <laughs> <laughs> postman automatically adds the path variable editor in the params tab of the request of any path or anything you are adding over here right so for example if you just copy paste this one uh, sorry my system is kind of stuck right now so if you copy paste this one so and uh, paste it over here so you can see the param values is already added now you can uh, copy this Alright, so you paste this and you save and you send the request. So what happened is like only that particular ID thing has been created. So make sure that you save it, otherwise uh, it will be a problem at the end of the session. Now um, you can also debug this thing uh, pretty much easily. So there is something called console button over there in the lower part of the postman where you can see uh, what exactly is happening when you execute each of the queries. So that's all uh, in this particular video. Then when you go to the next button, you have quiz to start. So you can see this is like a, a path parameter. I hope so. And uh, how many they are trying to call it over here? Jenner and search. So two. Um, how many? How many path parameters documented? Uh, zero. Submit the quiz. Let's see. All of them are correct. That's it about this video. Uh, so again, this will hot out in five minutes.